special video for you guys here today about how to hold a tennis racket. Yes, let's talk about how to grip it. I'm not talking about which grip to use, guys, but how to put your hand around the grip. So what I'm going to explain here goes for the eastern grip, the semi-western grip, the western grip. If you look at it from behind here, let me see if I can adjust my position here. Here we go, we got eastern, semi-western, and western. I'm not even going to get into details about each one. I'm going to address another issue, which is how do you place your fingers around the racket? The biggest mistake I see going on out there is this which is the thumb on top of the index finger and the distance between the fingers here being the same you see you see some people that hold the racket like it literally if they were holding a hammer and that's not the best way to hold the racket folks first of all you, you lose some serious important leverage here from the index finger both to be able to maneuver the racket head here when you want to generate some spin and also to support the racket when you're up at the net for volleys. The index finger works like a little trigger finger here for, for you to hit the top spin. You can see here if I, if I just open up my other three fingers here and just leave my thumb and my index finger that I can literally without even squeezing here just lift the racket here just by using the index finger as a little leverage. So you see the index finger it holds on to the two bevels here on the bottom of the racket here, these two edges, and they match with the two edges of the folds of my finger. That way it causes a very nice little leverage here for me to lift the racket like this. So it works both ways for me when I'm hitting the forehand topspin, that I will be coming here with the racket below, racket head below the handle, and then when I go flick it up, the index finger works as the leverage to make that happen. On the other hand, if you have all fingers together like this, then you feel like you don't have that little leverage from the finger and you have to have squeeze the hand real hard and with the whole hand try to do this with the racket. It's not the same feeling. You can try it there even at your own house without being on a tennis court and you're going to feel like it's one thing to do the windshield wiper with a racket with your fingers all together like this and the, and, and, the, and the thumb over the index finger and with the thumb over the third finger here opening up the index finger a little bit more it's a lot easier to do this also like I said when you're up at the net holding your racket to hit your volleys you don't want to have the racket like this you want to have your racket like this so the index finger also works like a good little trigger to make sure that your racket head is up and you have uh, more acute angle here between your racket and your forearm and it not like, not like this, okay? So, folks, don't forget, the thumb goes over the third finger, the middle finger, not over the index finger. I have literally corrected this on even good players. Top 10 players of their own age division, whatever country, have come to me and said, I have a problem here. My form, my, my form just doesn't go anywhere. I can't generate the top spin I want. When I hit volleys, my racket doesn't seem to be firm in my hand. And I, there you go, I go check their grip, and it's amazing. They've been playing 15, 20, 30 years with a thumb on top of the index finger like this. And when I tell them to raise up the index finger a little bit more here on the grip and put the thumb on the third finger, and they try it out, it's amazing the look in their eyes, the feeling they get from their new way of holding the racket the correct way. If you hold it with the index finger a little further up, and the thumb on the middle finger, you're going to end up feeling that there's very little room in between the pinky finger and the ring finger and the middle finger here. Almost none, but there is a little bit, and there's a little bit more room there between the middle finger and the index finger. How much should I put it up? That is personal. Some players have it a little tighter. You see, Roger is one that doesn't spread it out too much. He has it a little further down here, but there is more room between the index finger and the middle finger than between the others. And you do see some players out there that really like to have it a little more spread out. Most of all on the serve, some players like the continental grip with this finger way up here. So that's personal, I'll let you choose the exact amount that you put this finger up. It's, 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 it's really a matter of you trying different ways here and feeling which one feels more comfortable for you. But the important thing is to have the thumb on top of the middle finger here and not on top of the index finger. Consider this a crime. 
That's bad. That's no good. I've never seen a great player have this kind of grip. Okay? Thumb on the middle finger. Room in between these fingers a little bit smaller than between the index finger and the middle finger. And you can have a nice and relaxed grip, control grip. Works for Eastern, works for semi-Western, looks works for Western. Either way, always have it like this. All right, guys? That's it. Cheers. It's a wrap. Put your racket the right way and continue punishing your opponents. It's a wrap. Take care.